What is going on everybody? I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. Now today's video is going to be a little bit different than what you normally see on this channel, but it's something that I've done a lot. Today I'm going to be using my platform Crew TV and my followers and subscribers to basically help someone else out with their YouTube journey. If you guys remember on my Crew Kicks channel when I was uploading consistently on there five days a week, one day out of the week I would upload a series called Crew Collect which was basically a user submitted collection video. You guys got to send your collections and I let you just use my platform to show your sneakers or maybe push your YouTube channel or whatever it was. I wanted to give you guys a way to be seen, to show your love for sneakers. And today I thought I would actually bring that back. I don't know if this is gonna be a one-time thing. I don't know if this is gonna be a monthly thing. I haven't decided. Somebody actually hit me up. So the homie Matt, he hit me up. Up. Matthew Beam, he hit me up and he's like, yo, you need to come to Denver and check out my insane sneaker collection. I'm like, all right, so I've, I've, I've literally seen some of the craziest sneaker collections in the world. And then he sent me some pictures and my man had like 20 pairs of Red Octobers. Okay, maybe not 20 pairs, but my man had a lot of Red Octobers. Red Octobers alone go for like $5,000. So imagine that times, what was it, seven or eight pairs whatever he had that was it's insane now I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys about the collection obviously he has filmed the collection and he has sent it to me I wanted to go to Denver myself which I still plan to do but I was like you know what film it so that is what we are doing today this is not a regular vlog this is just kind of like I guess this can kind of be a test run to see how you guys like these types of videos other people's collections on my channel again I don't know if I'm gonna be doing this consistently this might be just a one-time special thing so shout out to Matt because I usually don't do this. He's also going to be doing a giveaway on his channel. So for all you people that love free sneakers and would love to support him, go to his channel, which I'm going to link down below. He's going to be doing give two giveaways. I think he's going to be giving away two off-white sneakers on his very first video. So I think that's a banger way to start off his YouTube journey is to giving back to the people. If you are watching this and you decide to go subscribe to him, just know you have a chance of winning some free dope-ass sneakers sneakers. So again, I'm going to link it down below. I'm going to let him do most of the talking because I want to just showcase what he's like on camera, showcase him talking about his sneakers and his passion for sneakers. So I guess with all that being said, let's roll his collection and uh, take it from here, Matt. Enjoy people. What's going on crew TV? Mbeam10 here. Today we're going to be taking a look at my sneaker collection. But right before we get into that, I want to give a quick shout out to Kais for letting me come on here and show it to you guys. I really appreciate it. But without further ado, let's check it out guys. Long days, long and nice, you feel? Now, I don't even know, lady. Take it, go. Really quickly before we dive into the shoes, I thought this would be the perfect time to kind of give a little bit of background on myself for those of you that may not know me. My name is Matthew Beam. I'm 21 years old. I've been collecting shoes since I was about 17 years old. And I actually just started up a YouTube channel. Make sure you guys go check it out. It's mbeam10. The link will be in the description of my channel. I actually just posted my first video. It's really dope. Put a lot of effort into it. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. And while we are on the topic of my channel, me and Kais are actually going to be doing a giveaway. We're going to be giving away two off-white sneakers. You get to pick your size. It's going to be 100% dead stock. All you guys have to do to enter is go to my channel and subscribe leave a like and comment on my last video and you'll automatically be entered who doesn't want a free pair of sneakers guys so make sure you go do that but that's enough talking let's get into the video guys let's check out the shoes all right guys kicking off my collection right here see what i did there kicking it off no okay well cringy jokes aside guys Right here we have the Jordan 11 Gamma. I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering why out of all my crazy shoes, this is the one I decided to pull out first. But this actually holds a special place in my collection. This is my first ever retro. It kind of sparked my interest for shoes. I actually keep this shoe dead stock. I wear all my shoes, guys. My Red Octobers, my Air Mags. But I like to keep this one 100% dead stock because it's the shoe that started all for me. So I definitely got to keep this one right. Moving along right here, guys. We're going to pull out one of my favorite sneakers at the moment that I've been wearing the most. I think you guys will agree that this shoe is super crazy. Right here we 
have the off-white Jordan 1. I laced it up crazy with the green and orange laces. I don't see that a lot. Off-white definitely killed it. Off-white is my favorite brand, so this was a must cop for me. And yeah, I love what they're doing with these. Over here, guys, we're gonna pull out one of my best shoes in my collection. You don't really see this a lot on other sneaker collection videos. It's the Louis Vuitton Jasper. A lot of people don't know this, but before Kanye was with Adidas and Nike, he was actually with Louis Vuitton. And this happens to be one of the shoes he had in the collection. It's my personal favorite. It's definitely one of the crown jewels in my collection. So really blessed to have this in there. All right, guys, right here we have the Nike Air Mag. This is by far the most expensive sneaker I've ever purchased in my collection. I know by now you guys are probably wondering how I was able to afford all these crazy sneakers in here, but I actually worked and purchased everything 100% by myself. Ever since I turned 18 years old, I've just been working nonstop. I actually work as a painter right now. This hasn't happened overnight, guys. I've been steadily building my collection ever since I was 18 years old. So that just goes to show you guys with hard work and dedication, anything's possible. All right, guys, switching it up a little bit since we've done a lot of Nike stuff. We got something you guys have probably seen a thousand times, the turtle doves, but I feel like nowadays no collection is complete without these. And then over here, we got the pirate blacks, of course. These are also one of my beaters, goes with everything. I wear these all the time. Definitely love those. No, you guys see those a lot though. So let's pull out something you guys probably haven't seen as much. Let's see what we got here. A lot of you guys might not even know what this shoe is. It's the LeBron 4 Fruity Pebble. This is one of the only samples I have in my collection. The shoe's super rare. I've only seen a few other people that actually have it. I've heard rumors that there's less than 200 pairs, rumors that there's less than 50 pairs. Nobody really knows. All I do know is this was made for LeBron James friends and family only because he liked Fruity Pebble cereal. Just a really sick shoe. Got the Fruity Pebble guts on the inside. Check that out. Right here, it's got the family size in the back tab. I'm actually lucky enough to have two pairs, one that I keep dead stock right here and another that I wear out. So this is definitely a grail in my collection and I'm stoked to have it. This is the biggest L I've ever taken on this sh a shoe, guys. I paid 1300 for these and then with all the restocks on these, they're now worth like nothing. So shout out to Adidas. I have a lot of trust issues with Adidas right now, guys. I'm not really buying that many shoes. I mean, all of the restocks they've been doing, it's kind of been stressing me out a little bit. So that's kind of why I've been sticking to the Nike stuff a lot more. Moving back into the Jordans right here, pull out a really dope shoe right here. It's really crazy quality. Shout out to my girlfriend for these. She actually got me these as a gift. These are really crazy. Like I said, the quality is just absolutely nuts. And then you got the glow sole on the bottom, which it makes the shoe super dope. I also have the gray pair right here. They're just really high quality shoes, guys. They killed it. Definitely love this a lot, and I'm a big fan. One of the coolest parts about getting into sneakers for me was all the good friends I've made out of it. Right here, shout out to my homie Andy for hooking me up with the good price on those. I love the entire Human Race collection. I only have three right now. I want to complete this set. Another one right here we got is the yellow. This is my personal favorite out of all the human races. These things are just really loud. They pop like crazy. You get a ton of compliments when you're wearing them. We got the off-white Prestos. It's a really dope shoe. It's always in my rotation. It kind of matches with everything. It's super comfortable. And if you guys remember from before, me and Kais are giving away a pair of these and the green off-white Air Forces. So just make sure you guys go subscribe to me and you guys get to pick your size and win a free pair of shoes. So definitely go check that out. I don't have a ton of designer shoes, guys, but here's one of them. Picked these up on Rodeo in Beverly Hills. Got the Gucci's. I used to think these were so dope and wanted to wear them all the time that my best friend, Kaden, kind of made me insecure about them, telling me that they kind of look like bowling shoes and now ever since then I can't really wear them. But they're definitely still dope regardless. Love this shoe a lot. The shatter backboards, the leather on this is just incredible. These things are really dirty. Need to clean that up a little bit, but definitely a shoe that's always in my rotation. I'm a really big fan of ones, if you guys can't tell. Right here, we got the classic brand you gotta have these in your collection. We got the Fragment ones. This is a really dope collaboration. I feel like this is back when Nike was in its prime. Another really high quality Jordan. That Fragment logo right there. We got the Dornbecker 4s. Back when I was in high school, this is like the ultimate grail. When I finally got a pair of these, I was super excited. Had to legit check them a million times because I remember how many kids had fake ones of these back in the day. Pretty dope shoe. I remember wanting it so bad in high school. Got the Vapor Maxes right there. These actually aren't as comfortable as I thought they would be. I wore these in Disneyland in Japan. Got crazy blisters and stuff like that, so I haven't pulled these out since. Another newer release shoe right here. Got the Travis Scott 4s, super sick. Pretty decent quality as well. I saw he's gonna be coming out with a few other shoes this year. Another pair of 4s, pair of 1s I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I'm super excited to see where he goes with those. They look really dope. Here you got the Acronym Prestos, super loud shoe, really crazy. Really comfortable as well. Sometimes it kind of sucks when you wear them, the zipper falls down a lot. 
but these are really out there. Some more older school shoes for you guys that are into that. The black Supreme foam posits. Right here we got my grandpa shoes. The Wave Runners. Really big fan of these. Love the little 3M hits right there. This is a really dope shoe to me. Another really cool shoe that's came out in the past few years. Sean Witherspoons. Little smiley face on the inside. Sean really killed these. Definitely cool to see sneaker heads making their own shoes. Right here guys we have the Nike 2 Plats. Definitely super sick shoe. Every time I see it I kind of get a little bit sad. Wore these out a few weeks ago with my girlfriend at the zoo and all of my Nike 2s have the eyelets right here which is really rare for a lot of people but as I was went out to the zoo when I got home I realized that this one fell off so definitely kind of killed my vibe a little bit. As you guys probably noticed by now I'm stashing a few red shoes over here. Air Easy 2, Red October. Obviously if you can't tell it's my favorite shoe in my collection. Favorite shoe of all time actually. When I was a kid I always dreamed of having these so once I started working this is what the initial dream was of saving up for. It was making minimum wage. I saved up four months to get these just non-stop work and saving just to get this single shoe. When I finally got it, it was such a surreal feeling. Every time I look at this shoe, I see more than just a shoe. To me, I look back and see all the hard work and dedication I put in. So it's really surreal to have this many. I kind of just went crazy with it. I love the feeling I got when I got these. Never thought I would have them. So that's kind of the story behind why I have so many. Another older shoe right here, some of you guys may not be familiar with, is the Paranorman Foam Posit. Super sick shoe, got the flames right there. Inspired off the movie Paranorman. I've never even seen the movie, but I love the shoe. Cool little inside right there. Definitely a pretty iconic shoe for me back in the day. Love having those. While we're on to the Foam Posits, come down here to another iconic shoe from back in the day. Galaxy foam posits. This was actually the first ever foam posit to have the print on it. That's why everybody went crazy with this. So this is kind of what inspired the Supreme foam posits, the Paranormans. This was the start of that. Really dope shoe right there. Another really sick collaboration with Off-White. They're just killing it with the collaborations. I really want the all-white pair of the ones, but haven't been able to afford them lately. Saving up for those. We'll definitely get those in the collection soon. But really happy to have the blue pair. Another old school Nike right here. For you old school sneaker heads, the KD4 Nerf. Another really rare shoe that you don't see a lot. Uh, really dope and colorful right there. Don't think we pulled these out to go along with our Air Easy 2. I'm lucky enough to have the complete collection. This is the Solar. It's a lot of people's favorite in their eyes. Battle between these and the Red Octobers for me. Super sick. Got the little scales right there. The Glow Soul. Really iconic shoe. These are a little small for me. These are 11. I'm a true 11 and a half, so I don't get to wear those as much as, as, much as I would like to. Really sick shoe. I love how they added the little Supreme patchwork on the inside, nice little touch, and got the nice little Supreme hits everywhere. Really dope shoe right there. Fear of God, the red colorway. It's my personal favorite out of the collection. Picked them up for a good price. Don't get to wear these too much. I feel like they're kind of uncomfortable as well. But the 2K14 LeBron, it's kind of cool. I guess the way you got these originally is you had to like beat the My Player mode on 2K, so that's pretty sick. It's got like the tiger right there. I think they're. So the eye right there. So these are kind of sick. You don't really see those too much. We got the undefeated Air Maxes. A lot of people call these the Gucci's because the green and red stripe. These are really sick as well. I only have two Air Maxes in my collection. These and the Witherspoons. South Beach LeBron 8. This is the first shoe that LeBron dropped when he went to Miami South Beach. So got the Miami Vice colorway. My favorite part of the shoe is that lion right there with the crazy pink eyes. Really dope. Got those from Rip LA so shout out to them. These corks. Got the whole cork right there. This is like a Louis Vuitton purse right here such high quality leather the little red hits i think this is a super crazy dope shoe and just the colors work really well on it i feel like this is a really underrated shoe nike's kind of fallen off i guess but back in the day this was definitely worth a lot more than it is now what the lebron 10 i miss when the what those were this though you got the fruity pebble inspired theme right there inside it's really cool they took a lot of different shoes and built this one up not the most rare shoe in the world but i think it's a really sick colorway the brazil sixes it's a really slept on shoe for the quality really good quality shoe and I really dig the colorway. Got the crazy colorway right there. A lot of people don't know this, but the kid who designed this in the hospital, his name was Elijah Diggins. So right there, it looks like a smiley face. But if you turn it sideways, you actually got the E and the D right there. Nice little touch right there. It's got the coordinates of the hospital on the inside. So it's really cool. I love what Dornbecker does. You got the cigars down here, the champagnes right here. It's supposed to be off of Jordan's championship. You got the ring right there. It's supposed to feature or look like a champagne bottle, I guess. I'll pull out the cigars for you guys really quickly. Got the ring right there as well. I love that touch right there. Really high quality Jordan as well. Right here, I had these before. 
the off-white UNC's came out, so now whenever I wear these, people roast me acting like I don't have that pair. I still feel like this is a super dope colorway, and I still love these regardless. A lot of people didn't like this retro of the, of the Aqua 8's because of the little sparkle right there. I still love this shoe a lot, and it's kind of funny, I was in an outlet store and actually got this shoe for like under 100 bucks, so that was definitely kind of a steal. Ferrari 14's, kind of sucks, the, these originally only came out in Chicago, and I was one of the only people that had them, especially in Colorado where I'm from, no one's seen them, but then they dropped everywhere, which kind of dropped the value, but it's supposed to look like a Ferrari. That's what the 14s were actually based off of originally, so it's cool that they came out with the colorway that is inspired by that. By my face, hey, don't got time to waste, yeah. I don't need permission, I'ma do it all today, yeah. They just can't believe it, man, that's all they gonna say. See these plays up on my Spotify, that's money in the bank up on my face. Hey, don't got time to waste, yeah. I don't need permission, I'ma do it all today. All right, guys, that wraps up my sneaker collection. I really hope you guys enjoyed me going through it. I had a a lot of fun making this video for you guys. Don't forget about the crazy giveaway we got going on guys. Me and Kais over on my channel, mbeam10, the link's in the description. Just subscribe and leave a comment on my last video to automatically enter into winning some crazy heat. So head on over there and do that. But that wraps up this video guys. I appreciate you Kais for letting me on your channel and having this opportunity. And for you guys tuning in, it means a lot to me. But I'll see you guys over on my channel because best believe we got big things planned. I'm out. I still can't believe my man has literally like 90% of the stock of Red Octobers. That should be illegal. But anyway, guys, man, hopefully you enjoyed this. I had fun with it. I'm always supporting and trying to help out other YouTubers and mainly in the sneaker community, fashion community, people who, you know, love, a, have a passion for it. And this is definitely an opportunity for me to show you guys that I still want to do that, even though I used to do it a lot on my other channels. Hopefully you guys mess with it. If you did, make sure you guys leave a comment down below and also hit that thumbs up button because I will definitely if this is successful and you guys really mess with it I might find some other people to showcase on this collection on this channel what am I saying it's late it's like 3 a.m. I love you guys I appreciate you guys I'm out of here dream crew family deuces dream crew dream crew dream crew yeah. they just want to do it how we do yeah. living my life like the Beatles Ooh. I just pulled up with some lethal Ooh. they get it mad and deceitful yeah. I make it hard to be peaceful yeah. They tell me I got an ego, but I'm putting up for my people.